Galmar. I'm feeling charitable today. Shall we consult the grievances? Certainly, my lord. It seems Viola Giordano has been spreading dissident literature and- Throw her in the hall. Very good. Tolva has failed to clean up after his dogs on a number of- Throw him in the hall. Silda the Unseen has been seen- Hall. Helgerd, Calder, and Nils- Hall. 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 Okay then. Bolfrida Brandy Mug. Hall. Baked you a nice hawker pie. Why are we splitting hairs here? My lord, a new recruit wishes to speak with you. So? How goes the siege of Whiterun? Not well. Then send him in. We can always use another spot for the chipper. Immediately, my yarn. On the topic of recruits, Lord, the Dragonborn has made an inquiry. Has he now? Do you really want another dragon-talking guy around here? Hole? No, what a ridiculous idea. If you see him again, tell him to go hunt fairies on an ice floor or something. The damn fool would probably ram a skewer into his head if it had a quest arrow on it. Hey, Spinach Chin, do you work here? Didn't the guards calling me Jarl give you a clue? I thought they were being sarcastic. Listen, buddy, I heard you were looking for a chiseled Adonis to lead your army to victory. I'll take the job, all right? You will. Yeah, that is if you can afford to keep me. One look around this place tells me you're not exactly rolling in the septums, but I'll make you a special deal, all right? I'm all ears. Ain't that the truth? In addition to my pay, I'm gonna need to crash here for a while. You don't look too itchy, so it should be all right. There's a few things you should know before I move in, though. Oh? Yeah, we're gonna be sharing this place, but I'm saying that for want of a better word because I don't do it, all right? What don't you do, exactly? Share. When I'm living here, there's gonna be some no-go zones. These include the kitchen, the hall, and especially the bathroom. When I'm in there, you can forget about it. Even if you got the screaming shits, you can just stick your ass out the window and paint the town yellow for all I care. Are you following me here so far, chump change? Oh, absolutely. That's good, because when you're surrounded by guys wearing helmets and roadkill, you have to wonder, right? Now I'm gonna be moving in tomorrow when I got this king-sized mahogany bed that I'm a bit worried about. And why is that, pray tell? Because I'm afraid you're gonna strain your back when you're carrying it into your room. Of course I'm only joking. Joking! I couldn't give a damn about your back. Get Smokey here to give you a hand if he isn't too busy hauling out your frilly dresses and tea set. So you'll sleep in my room then? Now you're catching on. I suppose I could slum it for a little while. Please tell your wife and daughters to stay well clear, at least for the moment. I'm gonna need a good night's sleep if I'm gonna be supervising you. You... are going to be supervising... us? Ah, you must be the brains of the operation. Yes, I'm going to be the boss. Your boss. What's more, I'm gonna fine you every time you ask a stupid question and you're already 10 septums in the red. But, again, it depends on how much you're willing to pay me. Very slightly less if you're gonna be my butler. You look like you know how to buttle. Hey, maybe then you'll be able to afford to keep me. At least until the cellar runs dry. That's exceedingly generous of you. Hey, I'm a generous guy. Just ask the trail of satisfied maidens I left on the way up here. I think I've heard enough. You've got the job. You what? Yeah, I already knew that. It's your job I'd be worried about. All right, Grizzly, you're on the clock now. Don't just stand there looking like someone just swept a big pile of crap under the rug. Give me a drink and put an umbrella in it. Oh yeah, I'm going to stick an umbrella in it, all right, and then open it. Hey, nice axe. I've got a slightly larger one I used to butter my toast. If you're lucky, I'll show you how to use it when that bear has finished digesting your head. Put it away, Galmar. I'm sorry he doesn't make friends easily, but I can speak for the rest of us that the Windhelm Branch is very happy to have someone of your eminence with us. Windhelm Branch? Windhelm Branch? All this time I thought I was talking to the organ grinder when instead I got the monkey? Where's the head office?
Now this is more like it. It almost makes me want to wipe the crap off my shoes before I come in the door. Almost. Greetings, traveler. Welcome to the Blue Palace. Yeah, no shit. Did you take an arrow to the head as well? I'm welcome everywhere I go. You might have noticed that if you cut some wider eye holes in that bucket. No! For the last time, I don't have any quests. Stop asking. Oh. Excuse me, friend. Do you have business here? Take a big step back or I'll give you the business, fruitcake. For your information, I got a hot date with some coiffured old sow named Elisif the Fair. Excuse me? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Men talking here. Make yourself useful and give me a sandwich. They call her fair, but I have it on good authority that she's about as homely as a prolapsed rectum. Hey! Look, I'm sure your personality more than makes up for the grotesque topography you call a face, but I wouldn't fertilize your front lawn even if my bladder were about to explode. Savvy? Ah! Uh. Failing that, can you direct me to this halfwit called General Tullius? I was told he looks like a pig they trained to walk on two legs, lacking the same hygiene and social graces. Are they around here, or should I just call Sui? I am General Tullius. See, it worked. Appointed as military governor and personal envoy to His Highness, Titus Mede II, and- And your reputation flatters you, sir. You are quite the chimera. You look like a pig, have the sense of a lemming, and if I wanted to hear a man moan like a mule, I'd spend another night with your mother. Oh my. Right now I have business to discuss with the second smartest guy in the room. Uh, what could you possibly? I said, guy. Where's my sandwich? It should be easy even for you. Bacon, lettuce, tomato, and an extra large portion of men talk in here. The only thing we have to discuss is the method and duration of your grisly demise. Oh, I don't think Ulfric would like that. I don't think he'd like that at all. Ulfric? Ulfric Stormcloak? No, Ulfric the Tame Skeever. Who do you think I'm talking about? We go way back, Ulfie and me. For a brief time, we even shared a bathroom, for want of a better word. And you're his envoy? Close, very close. He made me boss and sent me down here to collect. No crusts, all right? He made you a Jarl without a kingdom? I told him, it'd do for the minute, but I'm known for my outrageously gorgeous body and winning charm, not my patience. If something isn't done soon, there could be a personnel reshuffling around here. And by personnel, I mean your ass, and by reshuffling, I mean... God damn, you people are boring. Where's my sandwich? A kingdom or a sandwich? I don't care which comes first, just snap to it. So this is Ulfric's price for peace? How did it come to this? We could hardly refuse. There is White Run Hold. Balgruff? It ain't a sandwich, but it'll have to do. Right now I'm gonna need one of these dim-witted, slovenly knuckle draggers to chump my bags down there and potentially provide an amusing distraction if my charming repartee falls on deaf ears. You require a thane? I'm sorry, are you correcting me? You're downstream from Whiterun, you know. You know how easy it would be to make a kingdom-wide burrito night? Every night? Think about that the next time you're straining pea soup through your pearly whites. Sorry. Not yet. No, it's gotta be someone with that special kind of sacrificial idiocy. A buffoon of legendary proportion, indivisible from the obsession to quest and probe the unknown, as a dog is to its own ass. All right, we got a long road ahead of us. You don't talk to me, and I won't tell you how stupid your helmet looks. <laughs>